Hello my friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be working here in my office doing a little bit of cleaning, mostly decorating to kind of help carry me through the next month or so until I start thinking about spring decorating. So probably three weeks ago we took down all of our Christmas decor and I didn't really do any major decorating in here so it's feeling very, for one it's dusty and for two it's feeling very bare and uninspired. Now this room I spend a lot of time in obviously it's my office But it's also the first room you see when you walk in our front door So I'd like to kind of spruce things up at least get it clean and kind of see where we end up So I'm going to be sharing that all with you in today's video So I've already started clearing out or there really wasn't much in here to begin with Clearing out some of the decor just because it'll be easier to clean that way and we can kind of start fresh as we decorate but the chairs will stay. I need to put a wreath up. I always love to have a wreath there. And my shelves over here need to be decorated as well. I really like how I've had the top styled. So I'll probably just take the things off and clean and put them back. But I do have some shelving that I need to update. I'm trying to think if I, I think I'm going to get rid of these stuffed animals down here. Uh, so I'll need to change that out since it's not really a playroom anymore. The twins do have their desk in here, which is totally fine. It's the perfect spot for it. And I actually think today I'm also going to sand the top of the desk. I talked about this back in before Christmas, how I had stained this and I wasn't happy with the top finish. I like how the legs turned out, but the top I just was, I think, rushing the gel stain a little bit and I am not happy with it. So I got a little sander for Christmas. So I'm gonna bring this out to the garage, I think, today and try to fix that while we're at it. And then we also have the piano on this chalkboard wall. I'm just going to decorate probably on the shelf a little bit. And then I have this little cubby on the wall as well. So cleaning, we're gonna do some sanding and some decorating. I should mention too, this will probably take place over the course of the next two days. I kind of decided late in the day to get started with this. So we'll start today, finish tomorrow, and you'll see the end result at the end of this video. I am going to start off with the twins desk just because I'm moving everything out of the room so I can clean. It's just best to get this piece out and get started working on it. I have been putting it off for too long, but they actually received this desk for their birthday back in August. And shortly after that, I stained it with this gel stain, but I put it on too thick on the top. And so for Christmas, I had asked for a sander and I got one so I'm finally drawing it out in today's video with you but the specific reason I asked for it for Christmas was to fix this desk and then it'll just be nice to have on hand. Whenever I am changing out my decor from season to season, it feels so good to go through and just give everything a good wipe down. I am not the best at keeping up with dusting around the house. I will admit that for sure. And so this is always something that just feels so good to get accomplished, but I'm just using the wood cleaner by seventh generation and a microfiber cloth and wiping down all the things before I bring out my decor.
Most of you know that I have been in the process of decorating our family room and guest room downstairs. And so my decor stash is dwindling down quickly. So for today, I'm just going to be decorating with a lot of pieces I already had, but a few new ones sprinkled in as well. I feel like this will be a good way to get me kind of thinking more towards spring and summer decorating and which path I want to go and what holes and gaps need to be filled. My decorating is going to begin on my bookcase and that is mainly because I really liked how I had the top shelf styled and so that was kind of my starting point and inspired me to keep on going with the others. But I'm just adding lots of stacked books and some different vases that I already had on hand. A lot of things I've really collected from the Hearth and Hand line over the course of the past year or so. But Hobby Lobby also has my heart and so I'm always finding different treasures there as well. But this is actually a shelf from Hobby Lobby. I've had it for a while now but I do know they still have it. But you can find it in the shelf section. I'm not going to use it as that. I'm mainly going to use it as like a riser, we'll say. I'm trying it with this lantern, but I don't end up keeping it that way. I'm going to move the lantern to a different shelf, but that was actually a set of two from Decor Steels, and the other one I'm going to be using in my living room. So just kind of playing around. I'm trying to rotate so each shelf has pops of white kind of on the opposite sides. Next week, I'm planning to bring you along with me to Hobby Lobby to shop with me throughout the whole spring section. There's some definite treasures to be found. One thing I loved was this black metal planter. It's kind of a cross between silver and black. I fell in love with it and I originally bought it to put a plant in it, but then I decided, you know what, I'm going to stick the boys farm animals in here because it's going to sit right next to their barn and so they'll have a few little toys they can play with if I'm ever in here working and they need something to do. It is now the next day and I am starting bright and early with re-staining their desk. The sander worked out really well. I, I kind of figured out that I needed to change the grit on my sander to really get that old stain off. So once I figured that out, we were good to go, but I'm actually using the same stain that I had used before. However, I am applying it with an old cloth instead of the brush that I used the last time and that seemed to work much better. So I'm just going to do one coat today and actually put it in my office and make sure I like the color of it before I actually go in and seal it with some polyurethane, but I do like it so far and I think it's going to work so much better. So happy to have this little project completed. I did just want to take a minute and say thank you so much for joining me for today's video. You know, I have been doing YouTube videos now for almost six years and it has just become a blessing to not only myself as I um, navigate staying home with the kids, 
but just a blessing to our family as well. So thank you so much for your support. And if you aren't already subscribed, I would love to have you stick around. I'm sharing all sorts of content on my channels. I'm trying to post three videos a week, decorating, shopping, day in the life videos, all kinds of fun stuff. Anyways, I am going to change up my decor on my desk just a little bit to give myself some change of scenery. So I finally picked up this barn silo from the Hobby Lobby Spring Shop. I may end up moving this over to my piano because I kind of feel like now that I've lived with it for a day, I might have too much barn stuff on the wall between the wall art and the kids barn as well, but we'll see. I do like it though, and I'm glad to have it in my collection. It's a very versatile piece. For now, I have candy in it. Just don't tell the kids. switching out my wreaths on this arch and I finally found what I needed and that's a zip tie. So I zip tied my wreath on so much easier than the way I was doing it before. And now I'm going to add just a few pops of greenery into my scales with some battery operated candles. Now, typically when I have candles in our house, the battery operated ones, I have them come on at night. However, for this room, I'm actually going to have them come on in the mornings because that is when I am in here working away before the kids wake up. So it'll give me just some extra cozy morning vibes. I'm actually using the these greenery stems from Target and wrapping them in almost like a candle ring around each candle for just a little pop of green. Just as I thought I was done with this area, I did see a stain on the side of my chair. It does happen. So I'm just using some of this, I think it's 409 carpet cleaner to the side of the chair and it came right out. I have kind of been struggling though with how I want to decorate above the piano area. I'm using just decor that I already had on hand to style it for now, but this is definitely an area I want to focus on when it comes springtime. Uh, so if you have any ideas, I'd love to hear them down below in the comments, but I'm just going to be adding some of my mini cloches. I use these a lot for my tiered tray decorating. I wasn't using them right now, so I thought, you know what? Let's stick a couple of cute little houses from the Target dollar spot in there for now.
just making a few final changes to wrap up my decorating for today's video. Now it is definitely not perfect, however it is decorated and now I have a good idea of what I want to change or update as I am out shopping for spring decor and thinking about that which will be here before we know it. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Hit that thumbs up button for more decorating and I will see you in my next video.